Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why. I want it that way. Yes. Nah, man, that's one direction. Oh, shit. Tell me why. What have we walked in on? A chef cooking up a, a feed. <laughs> Yo, Corey, what are you cooking? Oh, it's cooking up fire. Hey, fire. Let's go in. Tell me what you say now. Try to relax your anus. Try to relax your anus. I'm picking up Rikai from work, and then we're gonna head up the mountain. And I haven't seen him this morning, so you know, gonna have to greet him with a nice good morning. Hey yo, shouty, what that fang do? I was planning on saying, hey yo, shouty, what that fang do yeah, yeah. the whole time. As soon as you were first, this girl was walking down the street. Uh, I was like, hey shouty, <laughs> what that fang do? <laughs> What's up? Hey, yeah. hey Lion, think first. <laughs> oh no. Damn it, Lion. Why didn't you think first? Got oh my god. Come on. Uh, oh. No! Oh. Crisis averted. Yes. I wish I had actually like really good soccer skills. I'm gonna kick him in the boot though. <laughs> no! <laughs> Tell me why! How's it going? Aww. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You need to go to the hill and then go down. Where? The hill and go down. But I don't know. <laughs> Rakai and David. Wait, yeah. Yes. Are you starting? Are you like these? I'm starting something, something like that. Your biscuits in the kitchen. I'm a sous chef on a mission. Baby, wiggle it, it's vicious. We about to break the dishes. Got the pepper with the sodium. We cooking with petroleum. Come step up to the podium and cut up this linoleum. Just move it. You guys are both Americans. What's the fascination with Americans saying, let's go? Let's go, let's go. It's like there's so many different ways you can use yeah, it, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Like, yeah. you can just say like, hey, let's go. You're watching somebody and they're like not moving. Yeah. Instead of just being like, let's go, you'd be like, let's go. <laughs> or if someone just does a sick ass thing, a lot mm. of people like to add like the, let's go, oh. let's go, let's go. Do I use it often? I feel like you do. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You sang, uh. This is the angle that it's, it's the boarding. That would be cool, Nico. <laughs> you know, maybe just a clip of you or something. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just move it. Move it. Sitting down is stupid. Now let me see you move it. Stupid, now let me see 
possibly fail thousands of times to mow a lawn. Well, that just comes down to like, let's take time travel out of it completely. You just can't mow a lawn. But how could you possibly have failed a simple task that many times? But there are oh, so many factors I slipped to and fell. If it's a simple task, you shouldn't fail thousands of times. That's what, that's what it, that's, how could you possibly fail a thousand times? No. Yes. No. That's why the conventional, just the theory of time travel doesn't work. It's not time travel. You're just reversing the way that you travel through time. That's what Robert Pattinson says. You could potentially create an army of thousands of you. You're risking those particles coming together in annihilation. Oh, that's, that's like a completely different issue. If you're all wearing suits, then it doesn't matter. Somebody traveling back in time, when they're going back in time, they're still perceiving it as their present. Let's say that we can predict that I'm not gonna be able to go pick up that thing in time falls, right? You're gonna seriously ask me why there should be a reason why I can't go do that. Yes, because it's a simple task. Well, okay, I get up, I trip, I hit my head, I die. You really think you're gonna trip and hit your head and die a thousand times? Well, if I hit my head and die, there's no way for me to go back and try and do it again. But that's a random ass thing. So is your example. <laughs> there's a small possibility that I'm on Mars right now. There's a probability that if I drop this pencil, it'll go upward. No, Weird. because it would happen every single time you tried this. Think about every time you time travel, is like flipping a coin. How are we any different than a coin? Getting heads is not an anomaly. You're predicting it here. You're not predicting anything. So what if you're trying to do this and like a million cats fall from the sky? It's possible. If something that's possible can cause a problem with something that's necessary, it's like the whole idea of like one black swan can disprove the argument that every swan is white. <laughs> if you have no idea what just happened there, we just watched Tenet for the third time. <laughs> and that's what came after it. <laughs> Paul, who do you think won the debate? <laughs> my last video was a house tour, and a lot of people seem to think that it's actually my house, but no, that's not the case. I'm renting this house with my friends Rakai and Margo for the whole snow season. That's the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Today's question comes from Kristen Loeffler, and she asks, Are you really six foot six? Yes, I am. Give or take a couple feet.